Brad at uh, Yankee Living here. We had quite the little storm go through last night. Thunderstorm with about, I believe it was around 60, 55, 60 mile an hour winds. And it devastated uh, a lot of trees around here. I mean, you just don't hear about that type of storm there very often in, in Maine here. I think at times it was over 60 miles an hour. As you can see, it flattened some of the pumpkin stuff out. I think this snow fence helped it out a lot, broke the wind just a little bit. But uh, anyways, uh, I'm going to go out back. Uh, I heard some trees snap out there, so I'm going to take a look. We'll catch in a little bit. Not too bad out back. A few small twigs and whatnot, but the center of the storm actually came up from that area. And uh, I'm going to go down back there in a little bit. I don't know, it's pretty hard to tell back in here without walking down in the back side of the woods there. Uh, I can see uh, one, two, three, four, at least five, maybe six good sized trees that are knocked right down, either leaning on other trees or uh, completely down. Well, I walk down in the woods here and one big, big tree right there. This is about, oh, I don't know, maybe 30, 40 yards, or actually say 30, 40 feet, just over the rock wall a little bit, to give you an idea. The bulk of the storm came down through this way, and I could hear the tree snapping last night. You can go up and look at the other end of this tree here as far as the leaves go. I think that's a poplar. Poplar trees have a tendency to have uh, shallow roots, wide uh, base of a root, but very shallow and broad. And as you can see by that down there, uh, it uprooted the whole thing. Very few roots coming straight down. They're out nice and wide and whatnot. Yeah, as you can see, there's more down over there. And if I walk up on the other side, up in there, there's even more down over there. Kind of gives you an idea what that uprooted tree was. And even more uprooting over here. Yeah, back that way is where we just came from. That big poplar over there. And you got this one here going up through there and another base there some more snapped off up here yeah quite a few more trees down than I thought they were back here yeah a lot of poplar, which isn't the best wood for firewood, but if you get it cut up, split up off the ground, it's uh, good fall wood. Yeah, of course I walk down in the woods and the hens follow right behind me. How you doing, Gimpy? If you remember Gimpy over there, she's a hen that had. Uh, in the hen hospital for quite a while there. She turned out, she still got a little bit of a limp to her, but uh, you know. Hey, what did they do to your hideout down here? Oh my God. They're looking around at the destruction. Just, uh, <laughs> they're wondering what's going on too, I guess. Well, the deeper I get into the edge of the woods here, <laughs> more trees I find down. Yeah, another one snapped half down over there. That one there is about 30 feet up in the air where it snapped. Hey guys. You guys come down to check out the damage too. Uh, 
All right, we're going to head back up. Uh, you guys ought to get out of the woods here, too. I see a fox down here earlier this morning. All right, guys, this is Brad at Yankee Living. We'll catch you a little bit later today.